I miss. I miss this. Hi. You, yes. Hello, girl. You okay now? Everything's okay? Yes, everything's okay now that I made it. Good girl. Glad you're good. Let's tell your story. Good morning, people of the Hulk life. Welcome back to another one. We're here every day. I want to I wanna reintroduce you to the horses because I feel like when I introduced you to them, we were like way up the mountain and you couldn't even see them. So I figure I'll take you up there, say hello to the horses real quick. I generally say hi to them in the morning, every morning. I kind of spend a little bit of time out there. I also want to introduce you to my pterodactyl so you can meet him as well. Yeah, come on, come with me. Another day, another morning. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. This is it. This is Albert. This is Albert. This is Jug. Good morning. Good morning. So many faces. This is Striker. This is a Strike Dude. Hey, dude. Hey, Strike Dude. Hey, dude. Yeah. Yo, yeah, right now. What's up? Good morning. Yeah, good morning to a bane. Good morning to a bane. Good morning to a bane. Good morning, banes. It's a bane. Poop now. Poop, you just hanging out here in the poop yard? This is calm. She just had closed Pyometra and uh, she survived. This is the one that we were talking about. This is old Missy. This is old Missy. This is a miss. You have to stay very calm and mellow though. That's what the vet said. Calm and mellow isn't really in the vocab when it comes to a Malinois. So, doing her best. She's got her appetite to pick back up, but she lost a bit of weight. But yeah, she's good now. She's all good. She's all good. She's nine, I've had her all nine years. And we just, we've done so much together. Like if you followed the vlogs, the old vlogs, you would remember her from the past vlogs. She was always going crazy in the videos, tricking the sky and over this fence. And she's always doing wild shit, so. <sighs> Super happy that that worked out. You trying to grab my camera? This is Sammy. Play your bell. <whistles> anyway, so that's my bird, it's Sammy. He's uh, getting some outside time. I woke, I didn't know he was outside, but I'm sleeping and I sleep in my office sometimes. So I wake up, I like, I swear to God, I thought there was like a pterodactyl outside of my window or something, but it was just this guy. He's screaming, you know, he'll, he's being surprisingly quiet right now, but you'll see. You'll see. There he goes. That's normally what he sounds like. You know, the birds are very, um, they want to spend a lot of time with you. When he's in the room, he's out in the room, he flies around the house, he's a fucking psycho. The thing about him though, honestly, like the dogs don't mind him. The dogs don't mind him, but he minds the dogs. He like, he's, Blade is like the nicest dog with him ever. Never went after him or anything. Yeah, you know, that bird has tried to attack Blade, like, at least four or five times. He bit him in the nose one time. He ran, one time Penny, she was in her kennel. He flew off of his cage, out of his way to her kennel and like got in an argument with her and like literally like bare nose. So he's not into the like, I don't know what it is. He's always been around them, but he just, I don't know. He just doesn't like them. They don't mind him, but he doesn't like them. How you guys doing? Are you staying in your pen? I heard that she got out this morning anyways. So the fence is fixed. So now it's on, I believe. I don't want to find out. So I'll give you a proper look at these guys because when I introduced them, you couldn't really see them. So this is Chica. She's the main escapee, the one that starts the getting out process. This is her right here. 
Are so you eating, girl? What are you doing? How are you doing, honey? You just eating? Okay. You're hanging it out? I know, you guys look like little miniatures compared to the other ones. What are you doing? Don't, don't listen. 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 I know. The boss. I know. She doesn't need to be getting bossed around right now. She's like, alright, I'm gonna go over here with her and eat hay with her. Oh no, you guys eat hay together now? No way. No way. He's the old man around here. She's been around the longest. He came second. I see, I, I see you too. Don't worry, I see you. Oh, rodeo guys, curious. So our text is, was like, we got him from a kill pen. So he came from a, a rodeo. Like he was a professional rodeo horse. So all this horse has ever had is people strapped on his back and try to get them off. He's a lot better than he was. Like he's, he's you know, he's, he wouldn't even come up to you before. Like he wouldn't even come close to you before. So he's better. He kicked the walls out of the shelters. So the shelters, I think I explained this. So the shelters, like when we got the idea to get these horses, it was literally like we were right going into winter. So I honestly had like about two days before a snow, this giant snowstorm came to build some type of shelter for them. So that's why I ended up building these ones really quickly. So Lisa has actually a rest, horse rescue and actually the horse land is actually on the other side. So over here, there's a whole nother cut of land. Our house is getting built way up there, but the, the other plot of land is where the horse rescue is gonna be. So they're actually all gonna move over there and they got like a big barn being made and all this stuff. So this is all just temporary for them. Um, we just wanted to save their lives. And when it comes to saving their lives, you really don't got time. So you had to act and were we necessarily in the position for these giant horses? We weren't. So we had to, you know, make, this is the kind of pen that he was in before. Just so, just like for safety for him. But he probably can be turned loose soon with the other horses now that the other, the fence works. Like he's a good horse. It takes time. You know what I mean? I just come in and I kind of just stand around with him. Like, you know, I don't really try to like bother him too much i just kind of stand here and get him used to me just like being in the area with him and I, you know i'll just walk around his pen and stuff and that's all i do so when you live in new hampshire the thing about living in new hampshire is you i don't live in like california or florida where we can do things like all year round you have like specific time periods where you can like work on things outside and then you're kind of screwed for a little while so that's what happened with like the the, the houses i had to do everything fast that's why I didn't get to put concrete in my garage where the car was because I decided to do it in here and we didn't have enough time to do both. So that's the way it went. Oh, they're coming up. There's your friends. So this is a big ass, this is a big ass horse. He's mad big. Bro, you wanna do riding and shit, bro? I wanna do riding, bro. Wanna do riding? So this is Roman. As I said, he had canker. Come on, foot. There you go. Look, see? So, ah, 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 nope. Oh, it's a little bit dirty in there, but there you go, buddy. Okay, God, it's all you. Oh yeah, and then there's, uh, <laughs> uh, then there's this guy. This is Seamus. Hey, bud. He is a uh, Highland little steer. This is like Lisa's favorite thing ever. It's the cow, or bull, steer, whatever. What's up, bud, what do you, what do you need? He's, <laughs> he's pretty funny, though. Bro, I know, I know, good hair. You know, I got hordes, bro. I wish you had hordes, but we got horses, so you don't have horns anymore. He's like, yeah, do you have feet? I don't actually have feet, bro. He likes his neck scratch. He's really into getting his neck scratch. Do you, are you licking my pants, bro? He's, he's such a fucking funny animal, bro. <laughs> uh, anyways. Yeah, that's Seamus. Yeah, we got some animals around here. I don't know if I said in the last vlog, I'm treating everybody like they're new. So I know I was showing you the litter area and I know I showed you the front yard and I said, oh, this is where the dogs play. Well, technically like this is where the dogs play. So we have 175 acres here. So that's why where you see me on all the walks and we'll introduce you to everything. We're just, we're just getting going again. We're just getting going. Also it's springtime. So loads of cleanup. That's also, like I said, we only have like certain periods of time where we could do things. Running around, she just, this is how, this is her, this is like slow pace. Slow motion for her. That's a little trot there. She's a fucking mountain wall. That's walking for her. Good girl.
himself. Hey, Mama, I'll get somebody to, I'll, 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 I'll find somebody for you, okay? We have, uh, there we go, and I'll take this today. That's the thing about this car, bro, you have to have it in this, like, awkwardly. Oh, I can hear my valves are squeaky. All right, let I have a squeaky valve. Oh my god, that idle. So I gotta get the rest of the pieces to finish this. So we just put little metal locks. You see like her, she's got this lock right there. So that's all I need to go get. So I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, dog room, one of them. I think I gotta get an Android for this YouTube experience, which is super weird. I'm gonna go to Verizon, see what happens. Shit, I gotta open the door. Hey, Mick. See, I did a little clean. This hallway's all good now. I'm just gonna open this so it's open. No, we're not doing out. There you go, bro. Just doing it. All right. For that idle on that car is unbelievably annoying. So I got it, it's so annoying. It's half the reason why I don't drive this. I'm actually gonna call uh, Fat House. I'm gonna get a video real quick for them. This thing is just nuts. 
so much fun to drive though. But anyways, we're headed to Lowe's and potentially Verizon so I can get an Android. Yeah, what? Yeah, weird. Whew. Please stop on the side of the road to see this. So random. GT500 looks stock classic on the side of the road, but we'll give them a little rip out. Alright, people of the home life, listen, say hello to yourself. You're in the vlog. You're in the vlog. Alright, we're in town now, we made it. Well, this is like my second home, you know? I know everybody in here. It's all the homies. You just go see the homies. Open sesame. How are you? I love tools. That's all I know. It's like, I, I, I come into here and all I want to do is just like stroll through the tool section. Uh, just something about tools. It just, oh, you know, it makes you feel some type of way, you know? Love tools. Do you love tools? If you love tools, drop it in the comments. I love tools. I don't know. No. Just like it. Me and Karina are the same way. We like come in here and we just kind of like walk around in the tool aisle. I have most all of these things. I got two table saws, three table saws. Um, I have the miniature chop saw too. I don't know which one I have. I don't think it's here, the one that I have. But anyways, yeah, I got tools and I love tools. Something that I've noticed about myself is like I require small projects. As much as I have like big projects and big things that I'm doing all the time, like mentally I require small projects to like feel completed. So I can just do something and finish it and feel completed. So that's what building kind of gives to me. And I've learned that and I really enjoy building. Be honest, it's fun. I like learning new things, going on YouTube and YouTube diversity. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I am a, I am a student of YouTube diversity. Let me tell you what. Yeah, right here. Yep. Thank you. Boom. All oh, right here. Perfect. All right. Well, my kid was looking for a crazy light last night. I'm about to get him this light and they'll be able to see like miles. Yeah, I'll get him this. He'll be sorry. I need a card. Up. Yeah, just take this. <laughs> Damn, I need a cart. I don't want to go all the way around. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I see if you get a cart. All right. I actually really did, but I figured that it wouldn't be the move, you know? Maybe this guy wanted it. But it wouldn't be any fun unless I had somebody to push me around in it, though. Yeah, I'll drive you around. I was about to say, I'd have to have somebody push me around, you know what I mean? <laughs> Who knew you could use power tools for cleaning? That's what I'm talking about. Horizon, Horizon, Android. Oh my God. This gentleman has helped me out here. We have got the I, the, I see, see Samsung. Used to it. We've got the <laughs> Samsung. I don't know. What is it? What's it called? It's 23 Ultra. 23, 23 Ultra. Is that the best one you can get? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna shoot some videos with them. Let's see how it goes. So we did it though. Tina's not here to rub it in, so I'm um, super happy about that. She's not here to rub it in. <laughs> no, 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 don't call her. Shh. Don't say anything. Shh. Don't tell her, don't tell her, don't tell her. Don't tell her anything. No, no. I've been coming in here for like eight, for like seven years going on and we go back and forth about the Android iPhone thing. Every time I come in, she's not in here. The day that I buy an Android, she's not here. So it never happened. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna tell her right away. I'm gonna oh, come back yeah. in here. I'm gonna hear all about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. Look at that. There it is. Can I take a photo? Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Let's go. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, that's what I mean. I want to check it out. All right, man. Take care. Thank you so much. I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> yeah, take care. See ya. Oh, she's definitely gonna tell Tito. I'm telling you, bro, my ego hurts right now, bro. Can't believe I just bought an Android. Anyways, it's already over. Let's start, it's done.
No, no, all, all bullshit aside. The reason why I didn't get an Android, it just works better with YouTube. I think that's what I'm gonna film most of like all my new shorts. I'll just film on the Android. I really have thought like the cameras are, really is really good quality. What team are you on? Are you team Android or are you team iPhone? That's the question. Which one are you below? Now I'm team both. So just like the cars, just like everything else that I do, I guess like I don't like to just pick a side because cars, it's like I'm not, I'm not like a Ford guy or a Chevy guy. Like I am just a car guy, you know, I just like cars. I just like phones that are gonna work and they're functional. That's all. iPhones have always worked for me. So that's kind of why I've always stuck by them. I got everything that I needed out. Now it's time to shoot some videos, have fun with some dogs. So something I should talk to you guys about. I have a set of clothes that I wear when I'm home. I have sets of clothes that I wear when I'm out. So obviously you could figure out why. I live in a house with a bunch of dogs. Obviously there's loads of hair and the house is, you know, it's 24 seven cleaning. So to get into my cars and go other places, you know, I like to just be as clean as possible. So I have like out clothes and in clothes. So now I'm in my in clothes and uh, we'll get back to work. Run up to the dog play, like pan, pan back around, pan up to the kid, like have him like smile and we'll pan back down to the dog. And I'll be like coming in, so it's all like in motion. So I'll be walking, coming already, and then as like the balls are coming in, you're pouring, you're pouring the balls, like basically like have the camera on the balls and like pulling it back as they're dumping, and, and then you're like going down. And the shot will be when you're like on the ground like this, he'll get he'll get the bite. I don't know, it just has to be one shot and clean. So Jordan. Yeah. She's just practicing. Go all the way back, and let's go all the way in. Side shot, Jordan. Side shot, Jordan. Down the dog's back, looking. Right? Let's try that. I wanted him to. I like that with the behind the dog going on his back and get clean behind his ears. Like I that. think it'd be good when he goes, go with him. When he sends him, you're gonna. I like thought this, I was. And you're gonna be that? coming around. You're gonna be coming around. See, I, I, I don't have the rest, so I, it's, I'm, I'm putting it together like in my mind, like right now. So here. This is so easy. You come you in. You keep changing it. Oh my god. You come in. <laughs> so maybe you start from like right here so it's easier so there's less okay. walking. So you start from right here. In the dog's face. Pull back. And you can come in like this. Spin around the Jordan if you want. And then Good. down. So like that. But make sure the down is hard. And hard. So down like this. Down. Down. Right to the dog like this. Boom. I'll send the dog. And then send them. Got it. And we're with the dog. And then circle around. And we're circling. We're pulling back as we're circling so we get the whole shot. And then the handshake, so you see the shake. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want a shot of Karina, so film her right oh to my her. Oh god, stop! Right to her. Stop! <laughs> Dude, watching it. This is a lot. This is insane, Jackson. Are you filming this? Film this. Film this. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're doing. Here's just Jordan's listen. Jordan's gonna I, I follow us. I know exactly. I don't how you need feel to film. good about this. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how you need to film it now. All right, so. All right. Um. Okay. All right. Ready. My GoPro is uh, is is dead, so I have to use this. But I'm gonna film my a uh, little bit with rock.
for the back, so he's basically a replacement for a dog. So I had a dog that I was working on, uh, Rocky, that I was working on. I just don't feel like he's got the character that this client needs. So I think this guy does, so that's why when I started this segment, I was outside of the fence and I jumped in because he's gonna live in an area that he needs to protect. So he needs to be in that state of mind. But I just don't think he has that same wits about him that this guy does. He's very, he's good alone. He doesn't mind being alone, he's confident. Um, and I mean, nonetheless, he's gonna be a bigger dog too. So just the intimidation factor is there a lot more. Close the mouth, see the tongue, two, gone. Every time. Once you see the tongue like that, it's gone. Yo, I'm done, you. So normally Karina lets all dogs up, but I'm going every other day because I need to settle them down a little bit. And this, I just want to show you what it's like, and then we're going to calm it down. So that's kind of what we're, uh, we'll be working on in the coming weeks here. That's that. duties feels good you know feels good to i need little things to accomplish so even like night duties it's good it's good and now it's time for a little bit of this <laughs> <laughs> 